Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Witcher 3 uh, Blood and Wine DLC. We are going to be continuing Gwent Never Fear. Skellig is here. Man, Hopefully, I need a fresh set of shoes for my mouth. Promptly. At your service, sir. I'm praying the hopefully we can do this one I recommend. Hammer tight and durable. Hopefully we can finish this up in this episode. Guys, we've been doing I thought this would take like one episode. Nah. We're on episode three of this. Ah, a professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. Now, let me see what you got. What have you got there? This may be a four episode thing. Which is just crazy. I never thought it would take this long, but that's all right. Um, Vicavaro blade, steel sword. It's really cheap. Let me just pick that up and add it. I'll just throw it in the collection because uh, that's kind of a cool blade. I don't need to repair anything, do I? No. Okay. He's got a ton of money. Let's win some money at Gwent. Care for a quick round of Gwent? I can win a ma the majority of what I just gave him. We're going to be using a different deck. Uh, this is the Nof Guardian deck. Uh, it also has a lot of um, spies, so I can have some fun with this. There's the three spies, uh, plus Avalox and four spies. We've got two, three guys that revive. We've got the Impera Brigade guards that kind of work as the Blue Stripe Commandos. Not as good, but they're a lot more 10 attack. Uh, so this is... I really enjoy this deck. I think I'm going to throw... Hmm. No, I'll leave the deck how it is. I played one round with this deck. I want to switch it up with decks in this playthrough, but oh my, decoys. Alright, that's actually not a bad hand. Um, let me swap one decoy. Okay, that's not bad. And I'm going to swap Triss. Okay, that's not really what I wanted, but that'll work. I got plenty of draw power to see if I can draw what I want. Eh. This dude's playing a Skellige deck. Hmm, what am I going to draw here? Okay, we drew Avalok, not bad. I don't know, I can't tell if I like this hand. I'm, I'm thinking I don't really like this hand. This will make a big difference. I'll kind of, eh, I really hate this hand now. Okay, I just got a beat 23. That's not too bad. Do this. And this. And there we go. Um... What is my... I forget what my leader ability is, even. Draw a card for... Oh, okay. Let me try to come up with the clutchest draw ever on my turn. Let me try this. Can I... Oh, I get to pick. Oh, that is... This... Okay, I really... I really like this now, because it gives me... Okay, that's actually really beautiful. I didn't think that's how it worked, but... That's pretty... That is nice. Um... Alright, let's go about this this way. Since I... Okay, I could just go about and win this right now. I just figured that out. Alright, that's fine. So they're going to have a low attack. They'll just have three apiece. Not horrible. Okay, he's out of cards. I'm going to win this pretty easily. That might be enough to win it. <laughs> That's going to be enough to win it, dude. That's stupid. Yeah, yeah, that was a little too easy. Alright, I can just pass. Alright, he was pretty easy. So what card did he give me? Young Berserker. Alright. Now we got the Barber over here. I can see... Let me... We're gonna check and see if we got some new hairstyles. I just thought of that. We gotta check about some new hairstyles for Geralt. Welcome, my good sir. Does he sell stuff, I wonder? Need a bit of grooming. Um Beard's gotten scrap. Let's see here. Need a clean shave. Keep it fluffy. Want a nice neat goatee. 
mustache and a little duck tail on my chin. Let's do this. Let's get the Asian look going. I think this is what I think. Eh, that's not what I thought it was. Never mind. Um, let's see here. Keep it, keep it fluffy. You see a fluffy beard. All right, that's not bad. We'll keep that. Um, loose, not too long. Shaved on the side, short on the top. Elven rebel cut. Shaved head and ponytail. Let me see this one. Oh, this is where your hair kind of flops and looks weird. Oh, let's try Elven Rebel Cut. Alright, let's roll with this for a little while. I don't know, I might change it here in a second, I don't know. Gwent, this isn't real. Maybe we could play around. It looks like he has a mullet. Never mind, we're, we're switching this up. I can't be rolling out here with a mullet. Uh, okay, I did draw. Um, I actually think Triss is the drop here. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna drop another... Just looking for spies. Okay, so this guy's gotta have a lock. Which means he gets a little draw power. Uh... Well, he's gonna get a really powerful spy with 18. Oh, uh, this is actually a pretty crap hand. Alright, let's do this. Get that out of here. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that. Because I get to draw again now. I like this hand so far. This is a nice hand. It's not a great hand, but it, it's not bad. Okay. Um. Oh, I just gotta beat 37. Okay, we can do that. There's 27, and... Uh, let me just let me just double their attack. I'd rather go about it this way. All right, that'll do it. All right, give me the spy. All right, another spy. Nice. He actually has a decent chunk of cards. It's actually probably... Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna play my heroes first here. See what he's gonna do. Alright, so he's got the 12 in the back. Now he's got an 18 in the back. I'm gonna hold off one a little bit longer here before I scorch. I'm not quite sure what that... Oh, you know what that does to me? That makes my stupid revives pointless. Hmm. I might have to... I might have to... Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do here. Um, I can't revive anything. I've got 17... 20... I can't even win. Hold up. I'm gonna make him play his cards. Can't revive anything anyway. Okay. Now. 
Now things get a little interesting out here. Really? You're telling me he is that lucky? Dude, that is some... That is some ridiculous crap. That is unbelievable. I might actually be closer to being in trouble than I thought I would be. I should be fi okay. No, I got this. There we go. Got it. That was actually a harder fought game. This deck right there was pretty was nice. Alright, I don't even look like Geralt anymore. We can't have this haircut. I don't even look like I don't even look like I'm Geralt. Welcome, my good. Alright, I need I need, need my haircut crumb. back. I can't have this. That elven rebel cut. You can't have that. Uh shaved head and ponytail. Let's try this. What does this look like? All right, let's roll this. This looks fine. Nation, hair rejuvenation, dandruff annihilation. All right, who do we, we got over here? The scars of that witch's visit. Did you uh, press, innkeeper. Uh, our sweet shining sun. Man, we're already eleven minutes welcome, into this episode. Welcome, welcome. Tell me what you'd like. Be so kind as to show me what you have to sell. Huh. Um, hold on. I gotta keep the Zaracanian stuff because I think there's an achievement for having a full Zaracanian set. On your horse. I'm missing the saddle. Around I think. Gwent, maybe? I might be stupid. I might be wrong, but I feel like I'm missing that. I might have that achievement. Alright. Let's do this. Mm, I don't really like this hand. Okay, now I like it a little bit more. Um, okay. I like the Triss card because it can't be destroyed, but I also don't like the Triss card because it's really low health, or really low damage. Really low attack, gosh, you can't even speak. Alright, I think I'm taking the L this round because this is looking like he's gonna have some crazy high attack. Yeah, he's gonna have some crazy high attack. This dude's up to set it. <laughs> About to give him all the. He's on 99. Or no, wait. Huh, that's weird. It's not like it's. It's like it's not adding up correctly. It's kind of weird. Um, should I give up? I'm just gonna let him take this. You can have this round, buddy. Okay, my opponent is passed. Give me Avalok. Give me Avalok. Damn it. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this. Well, this is gonna be a weird round. Because we're just gonna have attacks on attacks on it. We're just gonna have our whole hands out here. He's gonna have to revive and draw cards if he wants a shot. Which I'm not gonna complain about, I kinda want him to do that, but he's gonna need to do that in order to win. If he doesn't revive anything, he's he's gonna lose. If he doesn't revive, uh, because I just have too much stuff in my hand. I don't think he has anything to bring to revive stuff. We might just GG him right here. Because I'm beating him and I don't even have like half my cards played yet. Oh, yeah, there we go. I knew he had to, he had to have one of those. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't think he drew anything good. There's Yen. That doesn't really help me. Oh, he does have Avalok. Hmm. Now it gets interesting. Does he have anything to beat me? Did he draw something good enough to extend this? It's not a bad start, but that's not going to get him the win. I still haven't beat. Okay, that's not going to win it for him. Alright, I just want to see what my attack can what I can get this to if I bring him back. Oops, okay, well that doesn't matter. Actually, not that high. Alright, just take our win. Eat, drink, and be merry. Thus spake the prophet Leviosa. Alright, so the next one, we got the war long ship thing. I love to win the tourney with your name on my Roach, get over here. We gotta ride. Um. Where are we going now? It has us going here. Okay, so now we're kind of riding around. Um, it's not as simple as point A, point B. It, within a city, there's one out there, one out there, two down here, one there. Is that it? We've got five more, which means we're probably doing this for another freaking episode. Move it. Dude, you guys are going to be so sick of Gwent by the time I'm done with this. We're definitely not doing that tournament right now. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. There's probably a more effective way I should be going about this, but this is the route I'm taking. I'm just gonna follow where the game tells me to go. There we go. Come on. I like how they kind of spread it around here, so you can kind of go explore the country while you're doing this quest. And a lot of them are by billboards, so you can check on those and, you know, read those. Okay, so... This is the inn that we were out at the at the very beginning of this. I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. It's no Oops, I don't. Like Wait, one. hold on. That Witcher's rather handsome. All right, let's read this recipe. Uh, free the hair of its skin and massage its flesh uh, with your blade till but small bits remain. Slice up the back of a flattened pig along with a handful of carrots and perhaps a parsnip and an onion. Throw the lot into a well-seasoned cast iron pot along with some diced boletas. Add bread to the broth until it is so thick your spoon stands. Then give it the best stir you can. Stir a half dozen eggs into the slop and mix it thoroughly, along with some ginger, salt, and marjoram. Uh, rub some fat back on a pan till it's nice and greasy, then pour the mixture in the pan and put it in a hot oven for the time it takes to recite two Latanis to St. Plegmund. By then, the pate will be brown, will be golden brown and well-baked. Hair pate recipe. Hmm, interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Uh, normally I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder, but alas, we are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? Huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. Alright, asshole. I'm about to kick your... Teeth in with Gwen. Show me what you got in stock. You selling any cards? Like, these, usually they sell cards, but that's not been the case. It continues to not be the case. Alright. Let's see. Got any gossip? Fishermen talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. 
I do not if stroke on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. All right, Dick Monkey, let's just play some Gwent. Not likely to taste your famous fisherman's chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. All right, let's do this. Oh, my opponent will go first. All right. Uh, what? Oh, this hand is some... Oh, this hand is some crap. Um... Alright. I kind of salvaged a decent hand here. What the hell is that? This card is removed from the battlefield. So it was a powerful new unit card. Oh, great. So, that's an interesting card that I will get in a Skeleton deck, so that's good. Well, let's start this with the Spies. I actually might like this deck. It doesn't have as much power in it, I guess. It's not as powerful of a deck, but I think I enjoy it more. Like, I can't get as much damage out on the board with this deck, but it's kind of a fun deck, especially when you're drawing all your Spies. I mean, you can, you can waste your time. Like, I don't even have anything on my field. Why are you playing that stuff? Hmm. I'm gonna take this, because I have a bunch of revive power on the field. Fifty-three. There we go. Alright, so there's the powerful monster it spawned. Uh, let's do this first. Give me him. Now it comes down to, does he have any revive power? I don't, I bet he does. He's gotta have at least a little bit of revive power. Maybe not. I don't know, but there's not really anything he can play to beat me. Oh, there we go. I've got decoys, though, so I'm not worried. Why would you spawn that one to my site? Why not the seven one? It's weird. Got so many hero guards in these decks, it's ridiculous. Like, it's just out of control. And they're so strong. It's almost unfair. I think I'm gonna win without even having to do anything. This isn't even close, like I'm so far- he's out of cards now. I don't even need to bring back anything. <laughs> I don't have to do anything else, I'm gonna get the win right here. Bro, you were some slight work. You had some cool cards, but... You were some slight work. What's in the works today? Swilling wine, rolling in the hay? Alright. Clan Drummond Shield Maiden. Come here, Roach. Go ahead and ride to our next location. That's we got 15 it, out of the 19 the cards. They say her grace is just as I don't even know what I'm going to name the next episodes, because I named the two that are up. Never Fear is the first one, and then Skellige is here as the second. I guess maybe I'll go Never Skellige, or what, what am I trying to say? Never, or er, Skellige... Or Skellige Fear Never Here, something like that. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna name it. Because this Sometimes is gonna be four right. episodes. Which is which is some ridiculous crap. Let me off a roach. I think what the hell are these? I don't know, but they Oh my Oh my god! That is some stupid damage. Like what is that? 
What is that? What just happened to me? These dudes. I do no damage. Oh my god. I don't know if I can kill these. Oh my god. Okay. Hold up. What are these things? Are they in the bestiary? Uh, the, that's not... Um... I would assume... Are these beasts? Or are they cur They're not cursed ones. They're not elementa. They're not insects, I don't think. Are they necrophages? I'm not seeing anything new. They're not ogroids. They have they're not a specter. And they're not a vampire. So I'm gonna go with beast. I'll put some oil on. Dude, this is this is just a horrible fight. I got I'm like so underleveled. Hands beast oil. Wait, I don't know which Okay, we'll just put it on both swords. I'm not sure which sword. They're level 38, like this is I I need to go level up. I thought I would, like, like, it's cool that, oh, shit, like, I do want to, oh, god. But, I thought it'd be, like, I'm not going to level up to the level of the game, but I do need to level up, because I, can, I don't even think I can kill these guys. Like, it's going to take me a year to kill these things. Oh my god. This is some this is some bullshit. Um I don't even know what to do. Do I have a decoction that I can drink? And there is a train like They were supposed to put an end to that shit. They were like, oh yeah, we're gonna tell them to Yeah, no more blowing your stupid horns every time you go through at night, like We might have to come back for this treasure. Hold on, what the hell? Why am I swords? Okay, we might, we're just gonna leave this treasure for now. Uh, we'll come back for it later. Because I can't even do it. I guess after I finish this quest, I will go ahead and go level up. I'll go play the main story some more. Because that's the quickest way to gain levels is to do the main story. So that's what I'll do tonight after I'm done recording. Which is actually going to be pretty soon. Need to get some dinner. I got an early morning tomorrow. Am I poisoned right now? Alright, let me go ahead and meditate. Come here, Roach. You and your badass new armor. This will be fun when I do the Witcher revisit because we're just gonna have some badass-looking gear and armor. It's gonna be fun. I hope it's gonna be fun. I guess is what I should say. Whenever that Witcher revisited playthrough happens. Chasing down witches make you go gray. All right. So to finish up this episode. We're going to read the notice board. First, I need to talk to this merchant. Okay, we all know I'm just going to skip this. We know he's just going to say hi and kind of look at your crap. I thought this guy might play Gwent, but he doesn't. Okay. Alright, to end this episode. Good actually, we can play Gwent. We'll play Gwent with the guy devices. in here. I must but have let's read these. Potion. Anyone wants some rocks? I've got a wagon load of crushed volcanic tuff for sale. We dug out a cellar and got no use for all this rubble. Maybe someone from the the Pleasure Valley would be interested. You could build something with it, or with a bit of ingenuity, turn it into a mud bath. No, no better cure for lower back pain than a dip in tuff. Br, if interested, ask for Master 
Uh, Master Mad at Tufo. Humble request. I lost all my fingers in the slaw mill on the edge of the Caraberta woods. Good folk, take pity on a poor cripple and bring me nourishment from time to time. I thank you in advance. Labiota bless Giacoma. Or Como. I... I hereby announce Lady Vivian de Tabris is the most beautiful woman in the world. Any man who disagrees can find me at the riverbank in Flovive every morn at dawn's first crack. Uh, rafters wanted. I'm hiring rafters to float logs from the Caraberta woods down the river. Stable employment, not seasonal. I pay better than the competition. As for Barge Master Henry Paltic in Flovive. Contract, the monster of tofu. I hereby by announce the, the following. The vineyard known as Tufo, which is counted among my possessions and is famed throughout all the world for the superb melon blanc it produces, is beset by some monstrosity. Any knight who tracks the beast down and slays it will not only prove his honor, but also earn a reward of not insignificant size. Therefore, hear my call all brave and valorous men of Toussaint, and make haste to Tufo to converse with the undersigned about the contract. M. B. Borbu, or Borbeo. Uh, contract, mysterious plummeting cattle. What the fuck? Uh, urgently needed, specialist used to the strange and extraordinary. Yeah, that sounds like me. Must be fast and reliable, sorcerer, druid, or witcher preferred. Problem involves cattle, sick, falling out of the sky, what the fuck, at night and must be cleared up fast. Work must resume at quarry soon as we're up against a tight deadline. For details, see foreman of a Ardiso quarry. Alright, so there's all of that. There's our new quest, we got the contracts. But now we gotta play Gwent with this guy before we called an episode. Where the heck? You know what, actually, I'm going to save this for the next episode. I think that'll work out time-wise. So we'll go ahead and save this Gwent um, I Duel. I don't really know what it's called. It's Gwent Duel, that's what we're calling it, until, I, until someone tells me different. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.